Oh! It must be the year of the wolf because today I'm reviewing the Wolfcraft Undercover Jig. That's right, it's a review, a product review. So, Wolfcraft were nice enough to send me this jig to try out. But the review will be honest, and that's a dandy promise. Without further ado, let's have a rundown of the product, what comes with it, and what it comes in. Okay, let's get to the nitty gritty. This is the box. I love a carry case, that's a given. But you get the undercover jig, an extension bit, a drill bit, which is special, it's got a little end on it, I'll show you that later. Some bungs, a drill stop, allen key, and four varieties of screws, all different sizes. This is about 30 pounds on Amazon, UK. I'll put American down the below, down below. I'll put American down below. And let's not forget the instructions, which are underneath the plastic insert. Don't do what I did, not realize there was instructions in there until you watch the 20th video on YouTube to find out how to use it. Although it is quite easy to use. Doesn't look too bad so far, so the part we're interested in is the jig itself. So, here it is, the undercover jig. Now to use this, you've got a little ruler at the side, although I'd use a tape measure, it's more accurate. Spin this little doodad around, get your piece of material, and there we have it. That's 18 mil, I know that for a fact anyway. It does say in the instructions to set it down to the next setting, which in this case will be 12, but I'm gonna put it to 19, just because that's what I found to be better when I did my van racking build. Get your drill bit, place it in the hole. Whoop! Get your drill stop that comes in the pack, put that in, and you've even got a little diagram there, it shows you how to use it. Put the flat in line with what you want to measure, we'll have to be in that hole. Put your flat in line with the 19, drill stop on. Get your key, get, grow another five hands, and voila, ready to go. So next step's next. So, next thing's next. <laughs> Can't think of what, what's the saying? <laughs> the next thing, I don't know, it must be the next thing. I'm sure there's a saying. The anyway, moving on. I've got two pieces of material. One's natural wood. One's man-made wood. I'm going to give it both a go, just to see if it holds better in one than the other. So you can make up your own mind whether or not this form of drilling is for you and for your project. So without further ado, without further ado. So that's all set. We're going to put that on the piece of wood there. You will need to clamp this, unfortunately. I've only got these little slide clamps, which aren't really very good for the task. So. Just pick a point of where you want to join the wood. I'm choosing there. For no other reason then, that's what I think is going to work. Let's get drilling. One little issue is the clogging. Give it a tap and it comes out sometimes. And then the next one, I'm only using two for this. Obviously you pick what you want to do yourself. There we have the two. Now these packs, they do come with a Torx extension bit, but I used all the Torx screws that came with it. So, with no Torx bits, I bought myself an over-the-top magnetic bit holder. That's 
Why are you so like over the top about everything? I was gonna take it back, but I thought it'd just be funny oh, then. And there we have it. A relatively strong bond. I mean, a little bit of glue, maybe another fixing, because it's quite a long piece. And you'd have that quite strong. That's artificial wood. Next, we're moving on to man-made wood. A lot thicker, let's push it as far as we can go and see how it works. So this time, measuring there, this time the wood is just over 30, so I'm gonna set it to 27, this time on the little push bar. You just click that button in and move it across because the next one above that is 38. Same again, in there to the 27. There we go. A lot neater and a lot less catch there. Just at a quick glance, it definitely holds a lot better on natural wood than it does with man-made wood. So, there we have it. Artificial, natural. It definitely looks like it's gonna work better for natural. Right, I've got one piece of MDF left over, so I'm gonna build a sandpaper roll storage holder. Yeah, that's right. That'll clear out all the wood, and then I'll have some storage space in the new workshop. Let's get making. So there we have it, the sandpaper roll holder. Nice, quick, and easy to make. The undercover jig did its job. Now with artificial wood, I did find that the back of the undercover jig got quite jammed up with the sawdust from this wood. But on the natural wood, the same problem didn't exist. So that might just be a material issue. As everyone knows, some ways of working are better with certain woods than they are with other woods, so take that into account when you're using this for your build. Maybe stick to the Dowmaster Pro, I've done a review for that, for the MDF, as I found that worked really well. And if you're ever going to do some natural wood, 
such as what I did with the van racking, or you want to put together a quick nice cupboard with some ply board or chipboard, then I think this will be the one to use. Sturdy, strong, and if you glue and screw it, it ain't going nowhere, baby. When you go searching for this undercover jig, you might find that there's two different types. There's a TX and there's a PZ. That's just the kind of extension bit and screws they give you with a pack. The jig is the same, the fillers are the same, and the drill bit is the same. So, just the extension bit's different. But I bought a honking great big extension bit, probably over the top, but I didn't realize at the time and I found it quite funny. And it worked fine. So apart from this may be given up in time, although it's done well so far, it getting jammed up at the back when you're using artificial materials. And they don't really give you a lot of screws in the pack, but luckily enough, you can use your own screws like I did. It's a pretty good tool, 30 pounds. You can't really say better than that. So without further ado, I certify this dandy. Thanks for watching another Dandelions review. I'm starting to take apart the workshop now. I know, sad times. And everything's coming out a little bit slower, but I appreciate your patience. I am still trying to fill up the Instagram with pictures and what's going on. Unfortunately at the moment, the house moves taking longer than I expected, and my workshop's pretty much non-existent now. I had to buy some new lights, which will work in the new workshop, but at the moment, it's just keeping this workshop going. If you do want to catch up with us on Instagram, it's at dandelion underscore creations, and I'll have that at the bottom of the page. And remember, if you like the video, click like and click subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. But other than that, I think that about wraps it up. So, with the power of the three wolves, wolf pack away. Ah! Oh, and also, stay dandy.